So guys, for the first method, you wanna find the application that you're having a problem with, you wanna right click on it, and then click on properties. Then you wanna to go to the compatibility tab. Now you wanna tick run this program in compatibility mode. You wanna select Windows 8, click on okay. See if that works for you. If not, you wanna select Windows 7, click on okay. See if that works for you. And now for the next method, you wanna head over to search and type in change user account control settings. Click on it. And now once you're on this, you wanna set this bar on the left side to never notify. And then click on okay. And then click on yes. See if that works for you. By the way, this is not recommended, so only do this if you actually trust the program. When you finish what you wanna do with the program, you then wanna set this to this option, which is the default one. And then click on okay. And then click on yes. For the next method, you wanna head over to search and type in CMD, then you want to run it as administrator. And then click on yes. And then once you're on this, you wanna type in SFC space forward slash scan now, and then click on enter. Then you want to run this scan. As this scan's running, you just wanna minimize this. And now as that scan's running, we're gonna head over to search again and type in check for updates. Click on it. And now once you're on this, you wanna click on check for updates, make sure that your computer is fully up to date. And then once you do that, now we're gonna head back to CMD. You wanna wait for your scan to be fully completed. Now you wanna type in chkdsk space full slash f space full slash r. Click on enter. Wait for this to load. And then once this loads up, you wanna type in y. And then click on enter. And then once you do all of that, now you just wanna restart your computer, but keep on watching the video. Restart your computer, keep on watching. And now as your computer is turning on again, it's gonna be saying to skip this checking, press any key. Do not press any key. You do not want to press any key. It's now going to start running this checking. You want to let all this load up. Once it's being completed, it will then take you back to Windows and then the problem should be fixed. 